We're gonna be stuck between a boo and a hard place pretty soon. Uh, we'll give it a shot. I could get. Uh, you know what? Let's try and roll a zero one. If I roll a zero, there's a high chance that one of the other captains is gonna be able to um, get caught by Boo and lose their stars. Hopefully, Yoshi. But if I roll a one, I could actually jump down that pipe and actually earn a bunch more stars. I, there's no way I'm gonna be able to reach those five stars up ahead. And if I activate Boo, it would probably only go against Magic Koopa, and I'm not really that worried about him right now. We're gonna try it. Either way, I'm hopeful for the results, and I get the bonus stars, yes. and I get the little pipe minigame. I use minigame in the very, like, loosest sense. Basically, you drop down here into this little cavernous area, roll a dice block, and whichever space you land on, you get that many stars. So you kind of want to roll high for this one. And we got a three, so we get three stars. So, a 7 star bonus in one round, I'm alright with. Yeah. Alright. Now, something I never got. In all versions of this game, Magic Koopa here is actually Kamek. But, for some reason, in the North American version, it, it, it's just Magic Koopa. Like, this is just a generic Magic Koopa, like how Shy Guy is just a generic Shy Guy. But still, wow, this game really wants me to be the captain. I, I never got why they just made that a Magic Koopa and just not named it Kamek. I mean, there, there's three named Magic Koopas in the Mario series so far, and... Honestly, as much as I wish Cammy was back in the Mario series, because, like, Thousand Year Door was the last we ever see of her, I believe. It's sad that we don't ever get, like, name Magic Koopas until Super. I don't know, maybe maybe they changed it back to Kamek or uh, Camilla in 10. I've never played 10, so I wouldn't know. And you know what? I'm not going to go through the safe space. We're going to stick to the outside. Hopefully Boo's catch uh, whoever's going to be captain. We're going to have three Boo's on our tail right now, so we actually need to be super careful. But there's also the Zars up ahead, so whoever gets it, hopefully not me, um, it'll help secure my victory a little bit more. Unless Shy Guy rolls a 2 and just completely screws everything up. Nope, he rolls a 6. Safe from the booze. And we're getting pretty close, although I think I might have just given Magic Koopa those 10 stars. Yeah. Damn it. Two spaces left, so Magic Koopa's gonna be getting some dice blocks. Lucky you! You've arrived at a Toad House! Let's go inside! items in the back of the card you turn over. So item three stars, a six uh, dice block, or a class dice block. And of course he gets the two good dice. Oh, it's a slow dice block. I forgot, it, normal dice blocks in this game go up to six. There is a dice block that uh, retains normal uh, roll up to a ten, but it, it's a rare find. What a strange looking tower! You should go check it out! You know, fly into the hell portal! Alright, there's always one single captain event inside uh, every board. But this one, it is to catch the. What's this thing called again? Ah, the Scaredy Rat ran off with all your mini-stars. He has eight, he's five spaces away, you gotta catch the Scaredy Rat to get the mini-stars back. Wanna hear the rules of the Scaredy Rat race? Of course. You must catch the Scaredy Rat to retrieve all your mini-stars. The Scaredy Rat will use a one, two, three dice block to try and escape, while you have a chance to have the chase using a regular dice block. Whoever catches the thief gets all the mini-stars. The captain should consider how far away the Scaredy Rat is before deciding the order of the players. Captain Yoshi, choose the player you'd like to hit the dice block. Alright, Magic Koopa's going first. Oh, 
always found it weird. He gets the first roll of the dice block, so he basically runs up to a seven space, six or seven. So, given the luck, it's it's kind of like extremely hard unless you do land on the dash space. And with rolls like that, it's not going to be any easier for us. I think there's only like one or two dash spaces on this entire little, like little event space. And Shy Guy's going next. Rats rolling another two. So Shy Guy's going to need to have a perfect roll. Nope, he gets a dash. I thought he, I thought he didn't get dash. I thought it was only reserved for us, but fine. Like I said, this is a really hard um, event to do. But Shy Guy actually would have been able to catch him if he had he not gotten that dash. Actually, I think Shy Guy might have gotten him unless he rolled one. Nope, he got him. I guess it's fair that the perfect boy gets all those stars. During my initial playthrough of this board during story mode, everyone just kept having garbage rolls and he kept hitting the dash spaces, so he got away when he was like. 13 spaces ahead of us. Alright, let's see. I'm gonna have to roll a 5 or lower if I want to make sure I don't get those Zars. Alright, well, let's hope for it. Gotta take into consideration the boo as well. Of course I roll a 6. Almost there. Your adventure is almost over. Let's take a look at the current standings. Alright, well, I'm in first place with Yoshi in second, third is Magic Koopa, and last, sadly, is Shy Guy. We'll give you a slow dice block since you're the last place Shy Guy. And since we have reached the end point... Captain Luigi, I've got a present for you, too! What do you say? Want a whole bunch of presents? Uh, no, I'm fine. No? Aw, oh, come on, don't be a stick in the mud! Take them! And with that, I don't think your choice matters here, but you get Bowser spaces. You get a lot of Bowser spaces sometimes. I believe up to six. And determine on what board you're playing on and how cramped the final uh, set of spaces are, it's not the best thing to have. Oh no, it seems four spaces have been turned into Bowser spaces. You move forward four spaces too. Oh, lucky me. Can I have three spaces instead? Nope. I mean, at least there's only uh, five stars that got that got taken away. Ooh, we could go for a battle mini game, but then that guarantees Shy Guy, Magic Koopa, Yoshi, or Shy Guy, Magic Koopa, the, the stars, or Yoshi, I guess if they both. No, actually, it would be Shy Guy or Magic Koopa because Yo there's no way Yoshi would be able to get it. I could go this way and try and get ten stars myself, but then there's a higher chance of me rolling onto a Bowser space. And as you can see, uh, uh, of course the cursor in here, um, the six uh, Bowser gate with the flashing six up top, to be able to get to the final boss of the, of the stage, you need to roll the exact number or higher of what's there to be able to break open the gate. If you do not roll it, then you have to re-circle uh, yourself in this tiny little courtyard to get a higher number again. It can be a one and done, or it can be up to, I think at max five if everyone just keeps rolling a one. Or six, if everyone rolls one as well. It just depends on how bad at this you are. We're gonna go this way. I'm feeling risky. I just need to hope that I can roll a six. Oof. All right. Six, one, two, or three. Anything but a four or five. Nice! It was a perfect roll. And I get to piggyback on another one. Let's dash again. Also, by the way, we are pretty much done with Boo's Horror Castle. Mario Party 9 has the fastest boards in all of Mario Party. I don't think Mario Party 10 is faster than this. I think they did make the boards for it a bit more open-ended. Wow, they really want me to be the captain. I don't think any time there's been a shovel, it's been anyone but me as captain. But we are a little under a half an hour, and we are almost done with this board. But we got two boos on our tail, so we need to be careful. 
Hopefully not to roll a 1, 2, or 3, unless we actually get up to the Bowser's space and I manage to somehow roll a 6, because if so, I will laugh. You're caught in a boo sandwich. You need to be super careful with your rolls. We got a 2. So at least I save myself if I'm unable to do this right. Alright, can we go for a 1 and done? Wow! This game is being super generous with me tonight. That was, I've never actually been able to do a one and done on the Bowser Gates. Alright. It's time for the board boss. And yes, it is a boss that is very bored and wants to fight us too. Welcome, Captain Luigi! If you want to rescue the mini stars, you're gonna have to defeat my minion. And you know what? We have a choice between uh, King Babom or Chain Chomp. But just to fit with the world's theme, we're gonna go with King Boo's puzzle attack. Cause you know, it, it, he's the he's the ruler of the board, so why wouldn't we choose him? Also, I love like Shy Guy's little boxing pose he has. It's like 20 kinds of a door. It's like he, he, a little, like, tiny, high-pitched voice that's telling you to put a, tell him to put him up. All right. Line up three or more of the same color items or the same item to launch the attack on King Boo. Line up lightning bolts for an extra powerful attack. Hold the remote sideways. Press the D-pad to move the cluster. Press 2 to select the item. And press up and down, left, right on the tray places. Basically, have you played Bejeweled before? Because this boss fight is basically just Bejeweled. I already see a combo Star. there to get going. It does get very chaotic. I, that's why I do like the boss fights in this game. Like, I genuinely like the boss fight. Nope. 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 Ugh. There we go. Super powerful lightning attack. There. It does get very chaotic, as I, I was saying. Uh, there's a... There's, as you can see with the board, it's just, it gets crazy. And now that King Boo's enraged, he throws a bunch of Boo's around here, who I believe, they stun you. Yeah, they stun you for a little bit. Come on. So close. Whoever gets that final attack on him gets a big bonus. Ah! Damn it. Sorry, I got it. I mean, at least I came in uh, second place, and Magic Koopa and Yoshi tied for third. But I'm the captain, so I get a little bit of a bonus. Man, look at all those stars. I only got a pitiful seven. Plus four. So I was like four stars behind Shy Guy, so it's not all that bad. Yes. Wonderful, Shy Guy! You got the mini stars back, cheater! Thank you! Yep, that's it! Board's over. We are at half an hour. Or, I, I guess technically I'd have to take into account of getting started to this, but whatever. You can see, these boards go by super fast, and it's what one major gripe besides the damn car that I have with this. There's just not a whole lot of ways to play it that so well. Boards go by like that and it just, it takes away the fun. Especially with the fact that most of the boards have something chasing you, so it's a deterrent to get little rolls to have the game play as long as you want. Alright, let's see. Bonus mini stars are going to be going to the mini game star. That is definitely going to be going to me. This goes to one of the most mini games, and that mini game star goes to, like, all three of the mini games that we had. Next bonus star goes to the far star. Next bonus star goes to the player who had the highest total of hidden dice blocks throughout the stage. This time the far star is... I believe me as well. Yep. I completely ran away with it. And before you asked that I just had the AI set to easy, no, the AI was set to hard for this. This was what the hard AI in this game is. Dice block star. 
That star goes to... Wow, a three-way tie between me, Magic Koopa, and Yoshi. Poor shy guy. Look, look at this sad little boy. I feel like I need to give him a hug. But I beat the big bad boss. Shouldn't I get compensated for something? All right, today's superstar. Gee, I wonder who the superstar is going to be. It couldn't be the person who has completely run away with it in all the categories. Why is the third one? Because I had to share, but whatever. You, you get my drift. Aw, poor shy. Wow, he got second place. Or third place, sorry. And there goes poor Yoshi. Luigi wins with a nice mini stars. Congratulations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm a superstar. I love that he'd like to spread his arm. He's like he's trying to give like a serious hug. Nice. Just nice. What a perfect number to end this little mini series on. Wow. Wow, I completely ran away with it in the last couple of turns. Just, all right, all right, all right, all right, zoom! That guy was kind of stagnant, or that Yoshi, sorry. Kind of stagnant in there. Magic Koopa mm, kind of made a little bit of a push at the very end, and I mean the very end, but not by much. Shy Guy actually had more of a push at the end, and, but he got, like, taken out first. Alright. Alright, let's take a look. Uh, so far, total number 30 star, 35 mini stars were earned en route to the goal. Sadly, I got hit by uh, 5 Thane of Zars, so I lost 5. Number of mini stars from minigames was 28. Number of minigame mini stars lost in minigames was zero. I don't think I've ever come across a minigame that you lose stars in, unless we land on a Bowser space. Number of mini stars earned in the events. Wait, where did, oh yeah, Shy Guy got the captain event. That's why. Number of mini stars lost in events was. Oh yeah, because I think the boos count as uh, losing mini stars in events. Number of many stars earned for the bonus stars. I ran away with it with 15. All right, let's take a look. Spaces, blue dice block spaces. I got the le second least amount. So Yoshi and Magic Koopa tied for them. Both me and Magic Koopa landed on a lucky space. Uh, Shy Guy got the spin space. No one got the happening space. I got, wow, I got shuffled like four times. No one landed on Bowser's face, which is sad because I would have loved Bowser's hamminess in this game. Uh, Captain Event Space was forced upon us, so there was no real reason for uh, this to even be here. Time stop on the boss battle space was both me and Shy Guy, because mini boss and main boss both count. Time stop on the dash space was three. Lost was on me. Versus uh, free fall space was me. No one got the one versus three minigame, nor the battle space, or Bowser Jr. And do you think I am um, extending this because this game, this video has been super short? You bet your ass I am. Dice block rolls. I rolled a total number of ten. Uh, one, two, three. Dice block rolls. Max was for Magic Koopa with just a one. Oh no, wait. That's the number of those dice blocks we did roll. No one actually got a chance to roll the slow dice block, which is kind of sad. Also, this is all in terms of items you get in this game. Just five different types of dice blocks. Like I said, it's super sad. Nice. Just gonna eat right here. Congratulations. Here's your sexy party points you've earned this time. Alright, well, that was Boo's Horror Castle, and that puts an end to this little mini-series. Now, you might be thinking, well, TPG, what about the Haunted Trail from Mario Party 10? Thing is, I don't own a Wii U, and I don't own Mario Party 10, so it's kind of hard to do uh, an addition to this with something I do not own. Maybe sometime in the future, I will get both, and will make it into its own video. And as much as I've ranked on this game, I'm kind of surprised with the result that we got. So, that's where I'm going to end it. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to leave your thoughts down in the comments. If you would also like to see Mario Party become a main series, whether just me by myself or with friends, if I can get any together, please feel free. I would love to hear your feedback on this. And with that, I'm out. I will hopefully see you all in the next LP, which should be coming in the next couple of weeks. Later, everyone.